So it's World Rhino Day, and we're joined by WWF uh, South Africa's uh, Dr. Mornay Duplessis. Welcome to Expresso. I know you were chatting to you in a bit earlier, but I want to know from you, for people who've just tuned in and missed out earlier, why is a day like today, World Rhino Day, important day? Yes, uh, WWF uh, established World Rhino Day last year, and it's uh, an annual event now across the world. So uh, this is to focus the attention on uh, the plight of rhinos. We are looking at uh, proportions of poaching pressures that are well beyond anything we've seen before. And, and, and so we really have to create the awareness so that people actually step up and uh, do something about it. Now I know at the Luries there was an ad that they that won an award for uh, uh, making awareness of, of rhino poaching. And I know you've just caught a glimpse of that ad and I thought we'd show it before we carry on with the Fantastic. interview so you can just take a look. Because I know earlier on you touched on uh, on the fact with Ewan that rhino horn is made up of... Uh, Keratin. Yeah. Yes, and that is what you have in your fingernails and, and in, in your, your hair. hair. Yeah. Exactly. So let's take yes. a look at this ad that won a bronze award at the Luries. Good. Highlight the stupidity of it. Uh, uh, Attention, everyone. Instead of cutting rhino horns off, why not use our fingernails and hair? Why don't they even have their own skin? Here we go. Yeah, that is one of the largest we've had so far. Oh, the angle so you don't feel it so much. Awesome. Here we go. We're going to post them to the embassies. If you want keratin, well, here's keratin. I put some hair and some nails in this one. Look at that. Shine. They're basically looking for keratin and we're going to give it to them just with a bit of a, a kick behind it. <laughs> I think that is quite cute and quite clever. <laughs> What's yeah. your comment on well, it? <laughs> I think it just shows the futility of uh, believing that uh, something like that can actually do anything for your health. Mm. Because rhino horn is chemically identical to what was uh, shown on the ad. Mm. So, um, you know, this is absolutely tragic that uh, live rhinos are actually killed uh, because people believe that that horn can do something for them. So they could actually post that package off and get the same results, which is nothing. Because it's scientifically proven exactly. that rhino horns... Exactly, but the people on the other side uh, <laughs> apparently want to see the whole horn before they powderize it and package it. But so. now, there's also all these stories coming out. Uh, I mean, in the paper last week, you read the story about the pink dye what they tune, they're yes. injecting now trials uh, yes. into the rhino um, horns that if it goes through customs after it's been cut off, it picks up under the x-ray machine, bright yes. pink. Yes. Is that in trial stage? Is that something you think there is a future of? Well, look, uh, we're trying everything. And when I say we, this is a much broader effort than WWF. Uh, government in particular is very, very involved in trying to clamp down on, on the uh, moving around of rhino horn. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we did from the funds that were raised in the last World Rhino Day is uh, we've invested in scanners, in sniffer dog training and sniffer dogs, uh, the dyes that we're talking about that will show up rhino horn as they go through scanners. All of these things together help us put together the forensics in order to prove the cases and to bring people to book. And the monitorium against uh, rhino hunting? Moratorium against rhino hunting, obviously uh, there are mixed feelings about it, particularly locally in South Africa where the private sector has played a very important role in expanding the, the populations of rhinos. So for many of the private rhino owners uh, to lose the opportunity to sell live rhinos, etc., cetera, um, removes the incentive for them to keep rhinos. So, we often have unintended consequences when we impose yes. something and we have to be aware of those. Well, thank you so much for joining us and, and making us aware of this plight. And if you want to know how you can get more involved, all the details are on our Expresso.com website, so go and take a look there. We've also got a great competition running where you can win an Alna 5200 sewing machine. Take a look at this. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.